I did my prerequisites for dental hygiene school in the Seattle area, just at random um, places to fulfill that. I was actually a Running Start student and started college when I was 16, so I was done with my prerequisites by 19. And I applied to um, a couple of colleges in the area, and um, but ended up going to Columbia Basin College in Tri-Cities when I was 19. So I graduated by the age of 21. So I got into dentistry when I um, got my teeth cleaned by my hygienist one time and she asked me what I was going to school for and just kind of casual conversation and I was telling her how I was doing my nursing prerequisites and she just threw out the idea like, hey, maybe you should look into dental hygiene and um, see if you'd like that because you know the hours are great, the, you'll love the patients, everything is just, it's an easy job, you'll love it, just look into it. And went home, looked it up and I was on track to be a hygienist. And, that's it, never look back. I love my coworkers, I love showing up, and cause we always have a good time, we laugh, and um, but I also love my patients. I look at the schedule every day and I'm like, okay, who do I get to see today? Um, and I look really look forward to that because it's like, they're almost like my friends, like I just, I get to catch up with them when they come in. And I was gone for three weeks actually, about um, not that long ago, and I before I left, I looked at the schedule and I just, I uh, wanted to see who I wasn't gonna get to see and like who I was gonna have to wait another six months to go and like and see. So it was kind of sad for me because that's my favorite part is getting to just see what people are up to every now and again. When you come to our office, we treat you like we really listen to you and like we we're, I feel like we're really easy to talk to. It's not like we're, a, I feel like sometimes people are intimidated to talk to their medical providers and like I feel like we really put people at ease and people can just tell us really how they feel and what they really want because sometimes it's so hard to really explain to somebody what that is. And I think we just, because we're good at listening. The biggest change that I've noticed in patients um, is that they aren't afraid to like refer people to us and because um, people have a high, sometimes also a hard time trusting I think where they're going and what kind of care they're getting and so I just I think it's a relief to patients that they've fa finally found a place where they can like trust their providers and really put all their faith in the care that we provide to them and so it's been nice to kind of see people referring other people and really showing that they trust us and that's kind of cool.